The NFL Today on CBS Sports is presented by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees. That's transparency. And welcome back to the NFL Today. Right now, the Ravens and the Vikings are getting set for their matchup. And as we approach kickoff, we send you out live to Minneapolis with our announcers, Greg Gumbel, Trent Green, and Jamie Erdahl. Gumble along with Trent Green, Jamie Erdahl will be with us along the sideline today. Let's start with these Minnesota Vikings who have taken some shots. Knee injuries have sidelined quarterback Sam Bradford for a significant amount of time. Rookie running back Dalvin Cook for the remainder of this season. Still, Trent, they roll on. This is a very resilient Minnesota Vikings team, and it really has been going on for the last year and a half. Head coach Mike Zimmer said he likes the feel of the locker room, feels it's a family atmosphere, and it's a great chemistry that he has on the team. And, and leading the chemistry of the team is quarterback Case Keenum, now on his third team in six NFL seasons is in a good place because of the fit he provides for this offense. He said protection is going to be a big part of today's game because of the amount of pressure packages that Baltimore likes to bring. When he does have time, his main target is wide receiver Adam Thielen. Thielen putting together an outstanding season. You can see the numbers there. 6-2 target continually finds ways to get open in the middle of the field. Now, on defense, nothing but good things to say and to show you about this Minnesota defense. They're in the top five in almost every important category. Well, and that's an important thing to say. When you look at what they do in the red zone, what they do on third down, the fact that they're going to control the points, how many points teams put on the board, a big part of that is the ability to put pressure on the quarterback. And that starts with number four in the National Football League, Everson Griffin. He's got seven sacks on the season. They line him up in a wide nine technique not wide nine technique, which means you get way to the outside, outside that tackle. You see the speed rush coming off the side, the sack strip. Now he sets the tackle up, and he does an effective job with the spin move to get another sack. Now to the Baltimore Ravens. Fortunate, perhaps, to be three and three at this point. So many key players on IR, and it's odd to say it, but uh, Joe Flacco is still trying to find his way. Well, it is good for them to be three and three right now because they haven't played very well on the offensive side of the football, and it starts with Joe Flacco. Missed the majority of preseason, majority of the training camp because of dealing with a back injury. Two weeks ago against Oakland, he looked like the old Joe Flacco, getting the ball up the field, throwing deep passes to Mike Wallace. But who's going to be the guy for him to throw to today? So many injuries. Coaches and players don't want to talk about injuries, but there's no way you can get away from the fact three of his main receivers are out of today's game. And Trent, for Baltimore, a defense that could use a boost is going to get some boost today. It's very important that they're getting defensive tackle Brandon Williams back at 340 pounds. He mans the interior part of that defense. He creates the lanes for C.J. Mosley to make those tackles, those league-leading tackles. It also helps because you get one-on-one -on, -one on the outside when you've got the fact that, that guys have to concern themselves with Brandon Williams. All right, Trent, time for the Home Depot. Do Project Smarter. Well, the smart thing for Baltimore is get running back Alex Collins going. It's going to be tough today going against the number three rush defense in the National Football League. And for the Minnesota Vikings, Harrison Smith is a sideline to sideline, do everything safety for these Minnesota Vikings. Additionally, for the Vikings, they need Jarek McKinnon, who's averaging four and a half yards a carry, to have a good day and continue to keep feeding him. And for the Ravens, you have to take some shots. The win two weeks ago against Oakland, big throws down the field to Mike Wallace.